From the old man having a better body than most 30-year-olds, to him stepping back and letting Statham take the lead in the movie, here's how Sylvester Stallone prepared for Expendables 4. Action movie stars can't survive without their big bad muscles and perfectly sharp jawlines, and Sylvester knows this all too well. That's why his body looks better than most 30-year-olds, even though the actor's now in his 70s. He's been around for decades now, rising to fame, after his unforgettable performance as Rocky Balboa in 1976. Stallone was 30 when the movie came out, and after the film's worldwide success, no one could stop Sly and his six-pack from ruling the world of action movies. He starred in hits like First Blood, Creed, Rambo, and The Escape Plan. And just when fans thought he was getting too old to land physically demanding roles, he created The Expendables. Sly directed, co-wrote, and starred in the first film back in 2010. And the franchise is still going strong, releasing its fourth installment in 2023. And over the whole decade, Stallone's always looked amazing as Barney Ross, and it's all thanks to his insane workout routines. Sly trained with celebrity instructor Gunnar Peterson for this franchise, and his goal was to train smarter and look younger. To do this, he worked out for 90 minutes three days a week while filming the first film. Stallone talked about his routine and said it's exactly what he needed, because he felt stronger than ever and could see all his hard work pay off. He went into detail about what his 90-minute workouts looked like. He'd use the first 10 minutes to warm up by stretching his arms, legs, back, and neck before working on his arms. After lifting weights for 45 minutes to tone his biceps, he'd spend another 25 minutes on his shoulders. For abs, the giant dude spent half an hour doing sit-ups before moving on to the most absurd exercise I've ever heard of. He'd stand on his feet and hold a broomstick behind him under his elbows. Using the stick, he'd do up to 500 shoulder twists, turning as much as he could on both sides. Sly didn't always train with Peterson, though. For Rambo and Rocky, the actor trained with Olympia Franco Columbu, who used different styles from movie to movie. Sly wanted to look bigger in Rocky Balboa, so he did bodybuilding workouts six days a week. In Rocky III, he was a lot leaner because Olympia focused on Metcon instead. Even though these movies came out decades ago, Stallone somehow still looks just as good. If you're wondering how he does it, the actor's got some answers for us. When he was still filming The Expendables 4, Sly hopped on Insta to show fans what his workout routine for the movie is, and I'm exhausted just hearing about it. He said he starts the day by stretching, and then drinks some protein shake, before getting a morning workout in. He then spoke about a new way of exercising, he started to prepare for the movie, and said it's helped him get those steps in. Stallone posted a video of himself walking his gorgeous Rottweiler, and said his walks with the dog are now part of his training. The doggo's basically his personal trainer in the mornings. Sly claimed his pet forces him to walk at the right speed. And there's no cheat days when he's around. But a walk around the block is only the start of his day. There's a lot more the actor did to stay fit for his Expendables role. Sly hits the gym six times a week, working out twice each day. His main focus is on his forearms, shoulders, and traps. But he also does intense full-body training, like deadlifts and squats. The dude does 8 to 12 exercises every time he's at the gym, and barely rests between sets. He's broken down his workouts into two so he can focus on each body part without overdoing it. All the intense training makes him super hungry, of course, and the actor doesn't hold back on his food. He has four meals filled with protein and carbs every day so he can lose fat and build muscle. He stays away from eating fatty foods and makes sure to take his supplements. Protein powders, fat burners, multivitamins, and BCAAs are all part of his diet. Fans can't get over the actor's crazy training, and they're obsessed with how good he still looks. One Reddit user said it's insane he can lift so much, be big and healthy, and still look so young. Another fan hilariously said they're a nurse, and Sly's veins would be a dream to start an IV line in. You could do it drunk and blindfolded, a user replied. Responding to people who criticize the actor's use of human growth hormone, or HGH, one user wrote, if Sly's wrong, they don't want to be right. Fans think he's an example of how you should be using HGH, and it's the reason he looks so good for his age. Speaking of fans, they're going to go nuts seeing multiple hunks in Expendables 4. That's right. Jason Statham's coming back as Lee Christmas, Dolph Lundgren as Gunnar Jensen, and Randy Couture as Toll Road. Sadly, there are some OG cast members who won't be back this time around. Bruce Willis, who played Church, has retired from acting because of his health issues, 
Sly's nemesis turned bestie Arnold Schwarzenegger won't be returning as Trent Muser either. Fans were already bummed about Willis and Arnie leaving the franchise, when in a jaw-dropping twist, Stallone said The Expendables 4 will be the last time we see him as Ross. Because he plans to leave, Sly played a much smaller role in the production of this movie, and he took a step back from writing and directing the film. The actor's role on screen will also be a lot less significant, and Statham's Christmas will replace him as the team leader. To make up for Sly leaving, the franchise added some new names to the star-studded cast, and I can't wait to see what they'll bring to the table. Fans are most excited about Megan Fox joining the fourth film. She plays Gina in the movie, and fans can already tell she'll be a true badass after watching the trailer. Other new faces are Curtis Jackson as Easy, Andy Garcia, who'll play Marsh, and the super-talented Iko Uwes is coming in as Suharto. Even though fans are excited about the new characters, they don't think the franchise can survive without Stallone. The third Expendables movie was already a miss at the box office, making only $214 million worldwide on a $100 million budget. The film also leaked online three weeks before its release, which obviously didn't help. So honestly, it's shocking. The movie even got a fourth part, and knowing Sly isn't even the star of the film will keep many fans away, including me. Leaving The Expendables is part of Sly's plan to stop doing physically demanding roles. The actor says he wants to play more meaningful characters now and is wrapping up all his major franchises to do that. He's at peace saying goodbye to Barney. He said he gave his all to these movies for 12 years and is more than happy to pass the baton to Statham's trusted hands. Sly had a very clear image of what he wanted this franchise to be, but Millennium Chief Avi Lerner wanted to take the movies in a different direction. Once the disagreements got out of hand, Sly knew it was time to leave. This isn't the first time the star-studded crew weren't on the same page. When talking about his experience with Sly, Dolph told a story about how he almost got into a physical fight with the actor once. He said Stallone's like family to him, and they've had both good times and bad. One bad moment he remembers happened all the way back in 2010 when they were shooting the first Expendables film. Dolph said Sly started yelling at him in front of everyone and made him do 20 takes on a scene. Lundgren was humiliated and claimed he was very close to punching Stallone and leaving the movie for good. But before he could do anything, Sly realized he was wrong and apologized to Dolph for what he did. It reminded the actor why he loved and respected Stallone so much and said that's the moment they became friends. Dolph, like the other cast members, is sad to see Sly leave the franchise and knows it won't be the same without him. It's not only the crew. Fans are devastated to see him go as well, but he assured them he's ready to accept the next challenge and wants to prove he's more than muscles and guns. So, from him stepping back and letting Statham take the lead in the movie, to the old guy having a better body than most 30-year-olds, that's how Sylvester Stallone prepared for Expendables 4.